Hey y'all, this is Victor Haskins, and I want to take you guys through some buzzing long tones uh, as a continuation of the Let's Investigate episode where I introduced the how and why of buzzing for brass players. So I'm going to take my trusty metronome here, and I'm going to put it on the drone mode, and we're going to start on a concert F, and for trumpet players that's your G, and uh, we're going to stretch down, and then we're going to stretch upwards, so you guys can use this video as a, a practice buddy, uh, and we can both be doing the buzzing at the same time. So once again, um, you want to be matching the pitch with no wobbles. If this is the pitch... <laughs> That's matching. Anything else? We don't want that, remember? So, we want to match the pitch, and we want to keep the pitch steady, and we want to have a nice fat sound. You want a nice, robust buzz, okay? And we'll, I'll, we'll do some different things with it. Here we go. This is F. Breathe when you need to. Go down a half step to E. To E flat. Something you can do as you're doing this, let's go down to D, is to vary the dynamics. So this time, let's play it really soft. With a crescendo and a decrescendo. Down a half step again to E flat, uh, sorry, to C sharp, concert C sharp. As we're doing the crescendo, decrescendo, make sure you're keeping the pitch steady, right? Don't get sharp when you get louder and get flat when you get softer. Keep the air support. Half step down again. Concert C. Let's start loud and get soft and get loud again. Half step down. Um, that's concert B.
closing my eyes during most of it because I'm focusing on the sound and how my chops and my lips and the mouthpiece are interacting. Focusing on the sound, focusing on the relaxation, focusing on the pitch, that's what we need to focus on. So I'm not really using my eyes. Down a half step to concert B flat. <laughs> So, during that guided buzzing exercise, I was mentioning some different ways to vary the exercise to make it more useful. Remember, you want to maintain a fat tone while maintaining the pitch and not letting the pitch waver and remain relaxed. And if you're doing that and you apply it across the range of your horn, you're going to develop a really strong positive relationship with the mouthpiece and therefore with the horn. So spend some time every day doing this with your drone, with your, your metronome, um, or with this video, and I think that's going to do a lot for you as you move forward in developing your ability to play the horn. So thank you.